Hello, welcome back to RCNerd.tv. Right, if you watched my previous video, you would have seen um, what happened on when I was gearing up my actual um, spur and pinion, and I thought it was because it was running on the batteries running crap or the pinion had gone, but no. I'm going to show you exactly what it is now. I decided to take the motor out and do a check on it. And this is the motors I've been using. Um, uh, Firebolt HPI 15 turn. It's a 540 can, not the 560. And I decided to strip them down even though they can't be stripped. And there's your problem. Can you see that? If all the people can't see that, well, I'll show you what I mean. The brush had come clean off. My lipo had destroyed this second one of these motors. So, look, he still had the stinger, so I'll put the stinger in. But, yeah. I think I've invested in some of the most amazing... Oh, I see. I think I've invested in some of the most greediest RC cars in the world. It's at the brush. It's broken off at the end. I can't even explain that, but there you go anyway. Um, it's got its own built-in fan as well. That's what I liked about it, but there's nothing I can do it really. Um, I don't know if you can replace these. I'm not an expert with these things. I just seem to Strip them down and throw them in the bin. But, um, ow. Let's have a look. Nah, that's well wedged in there. But anyway, but that there is gone. See, the brush on the other one is fine. Um, I've heard there's a way of getting these apart. But I don't know how to do it, and I'd rather just go and buy another one. But if, I don't know if you can see that, but that's worn. It's completely worn. Um, yeah, it's, that's damaged, completely damaged. But there you go, anyway. There's the problem. Another motor dead. Anyway, just that, anyway, so. Any comments, put them down below and I'll be willing to reply to them. Thank you very much.